Welcome, I'm Ted Danson. From industry leaders on the cutting edge of business management to the key players responsible for reducing environmental impacts, today's episode is geared to keep you up to date and informed on the latest topics and current trends. The Internet of Things, often referred to as IoT, has completely revolutionized daily life, bringing increased efficiency and convenience from the way we work to how we communicate. Developments in IoT technology continue to push the boundaries of innovation. There's been a tremendous growth and boom in the deployment of IoT devices and applications in the last few years. There's an estimated 15 billion Internet of Things devices in the world today and it's estimated to go up to 30 billion in the next few years. Imagine the potential of the applications that you can do with data generated. Smart traffic lights can reduce traffic congestion. Smart industry, where you can do predictive maintenance. So almost every industry can have an amazing number of applications using IoT generated data. The value is not just in the data that we intentionally collect from IoT devices, but in data exhaust. This is the data that's generated when we interact with IoT devices, think of it as passive data. When you interact with a smartphone, it's not just the app, but there's lots of other things that are being collected. It's estimated that there is 100 terabytes of data exhaust from IoT devices that's generated annually. If one byte of data was like a grain of sand, it's enough sand to cover the entire Earth's surface, including the ocean surface. So they say that data exhaust is the new technological oil. In a world where every digital interaction leaves a trail, Data exhaust emerges as the untapped gold mine, revolutionizing how smart devices transform raw data into powerful insights for efficiency and innovation. You can take this data and make use of it in a very productive way for maybe personalization, maybe further promotions of different services and products that are useful for the users and organizations who create this data. But at the same time, this invisible data can be used in the wrong hands, in unethical ways, to create further privacy, security, and trust problems. So any organization who is using this data needs to use ethically. That means they have to stick to the service level agreements where if they say something is going to be done, then the user should know it. And if they say it's not going to be done, then they need to stick to that. On the user side, we need to be careful about the uh, terms and references we are signing. Data exhaust holds immense potential for driving innovation in areas like artificial intelligence and wireless communication. However, Without proper organization and security, it can also be dangerous, providing entry points for cyber criminals or creating inefficiencies in connected systems. Data exhaust is important as we uh, create infrastructure and security for the future in many ways. But at the same time, there's massive cybersecurity risks with that data. So that if you don't understand your own data, then you could get yourself in trouble. At the same time, if you're not controlling and managing and securing that data, then the adversaries have the capabilities of taking that data and doing Mount Tent with it. There's lots of potential to use that data to help enhance technology. Programs like AI, automation, cybersecurity all require large sets of data. So we're actually embedding the security based on the data exhaust that we have into the projects, as opposed to using a check mark later on to figure out how we can secure it. To fill the gaps, a groundbreaking partnership is leading the way in transforming how we harness and protect data exhaust while tackling critical challenges in cybersecurity. Kellyan Group is a company that's been generational in, in, its, in its history. We've spanned into a number of different sectors where failure is not an option. And so when you think of that, and we consider the opportunity that we had to work with Dalhousie University, what we're doing is we're constantly bringing these current requirements that our businesses have. And the students, academia, the participants in the programming really help us to unlock insights that otherwise wouldn't be possible. So I think the groundbreaking part is colliding uh, industry with academia and really finding new areas in which we can actually advance. As we rely more heavily on smart devices, wearable technologies, and IoT systems, like the ones that run our factories, hospitals, and city grids, it becomes increasingly important to have a robust security framework in place to protect against cyber criminals. We just don't look at what the user is doing. We are looking at other things and combining them 
and forming a context for them so that we can make the invisible visible for the user. Using machine learning techniques, when we look at the data exhaust from this perspective, we can understand what the bad actors can use the data for. So these are pretty personal private information that we don't really want others to know. That exhaust is there is to make the user experience much more valuable and useful. So your phones, your watches, it has to happen. So we can't stop it, but we're providing the capability for these organizations to make smarter decisions when they're trying to figure out what tools, what IoT devices, what user activity are they gonna allow into their network before they're making a call to allow it or not to allow it. By turning raw data into actionable insights, the partnership is pushing the boundaries of innovation while setting a new benchmark for data security. We want people to feel confident in that world where services are intuitive, they wrap themselves around the individual. And the only way to do that is to have good practice when it comes to managing data and being really strong in terms of ethics and the practice that surround it. What's really exciting about our partnership is that we are not only building secure IoT systems, but also finding ways in which we can leverage data exhaust without compromising privacy and security. We are looking at how to build an entire secure system in the IoT food chain, and we'll also be able to train our students to be future ready. The unlocked potential of data exhaust and context-aware IoT security is not just solving today's challenges, it's building a safer, smarter tomorrow.